So now that you are no longer married to the law, but you're married to Jesus, it's time to take yourself completely from under the law and put yourself completely under grace. Let me give you a few more reasons. Look at James 2.10. For whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of all. If you put yourself under the law, you have to obey every one of them. You can't pick and choose. And if you just disobey one, you've disobeyed all, according to the Bible. You see, you have no chance. <laughs> no chance to save yourself by following the law or by even keeping yourself righteous. That's self-righteousness. You have no righteousness. You only have Jesus' righteousness. So there's one. Listen to Galatians 3.10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that continues not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Did you see that? If you put yourself under the law and you don't obey every one of them, you are under a curse. That's why Jesus became, you know, he was cursed for us. <laughs> it's over. We are now free from the law, from trying to obey one or any one of them. We just obey Jesus because the Bible said he's fulfilled the law and he's the only one that could. And since we have Jesus, we also. He took our disobedience to the law on the cross and he gave us his obedience to the law when we accepted him as our savior. One more for this video. If you put yourself under the law, you have fallen from grace. You cannot put yourself under the law and under grace. You have to choose one. Look at Galatians 5, 1 through 4. Stand fast therefore in the liberty, wherewith Christ has made us free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you, if ye be circumcised, that's part of the law, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is debtor to the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you, whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Don't you see that when you try to follow the law, you try to obey the law, and I'm not talking about the law of our country, I'm talking about God's law, and you are trying to justify yourself. You are trying to prove that there is some good in you. And the Bible already says there is none good, none. That all of our righteousness are as filthy rags. We are only justified by Jesus and what he did on the cross for us. So this is the only, um, I'm going to stop this video because I have so many more. <laughs> so again, remember, take yourself completely from under the law and put yourself completely under grace because this is the difference between life to your soul or death to your soul. And we'll talk more about that.